this project you'll need yarn i'm using a four ply acrylic yarn which is called winter king i needed about six to seven balls of this to make for a size small to medium then you also need beads these are going to be attached to your tassels in the final stages of your skirt then you'll also need a four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors a darning needle and this is nylon thread that I use to attach the flowers. This is optional because I know some of you are not going to attach flowers to your skirt, but if you would wish to attach them, you can use this or even use the yarn that you have. This is not a must, so this is optional, but if you have it, it would be a good one because you would have very neat finish for your project. So for this project, I'll be giving general um, instructions. So that it doesn't matter what yarn you're using or what hook you're using. Just make sure the hook that you're using is corresponding with the yarn that you're using and just follow the instructions the way I give them to you and you'll be able to achieve the same exact thing. So you can literally use any hook or any yarn that you have available. So let's begin. So you're going to grab your yarn and grab your hook and you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of 15 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 this is going to be the thickness of your waistband. If you want it smaller, go ahead and reduce on the rows. If you want it thicker, go ahead and make uh, more chains. So after your 15 chains, you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. And then single crochet into the next chain and continue to single crochet into each and every um, chain all the way across until you have a total of um, 14 single crochets So I'm placing my last single crochet into the last chain and that's the end of row one. So we're going to row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to go into the back loop of the stitch below. So this is the very first stitch and instead of going here, you're going to go into the back loop only there and place your single crochet. And then back loop single crochet into the next stitch and continue to do that all the way across so this is going to create a ribbed effect on the waistband of our skirt as well as give it a good stretch So um, we are done with row two and this is what we have. You can see that ribbing. Uh, we're going to repeat row two until we get uh, a big panel that can go around our waist as well as our hips when stretched. So we're aiming for the waist measurement, but we need to have this panel to go around our hips when stretched so we are repeating row two don't forget to always chain one at the beginning of your row it's always chain one and turn and then go into the back loops only with single crochets 
So I'm going to go ahead and make some more rows and then I'll show you the ribbed effect that is created by working in the back loops only. So after doing some rows, you should be having something that looks like this and it stretches. So you're going to continue to do this until you get something that stretches to your hip measurement fully when stretched so that it can shrink back to something smaller for your waist measurement. So I'll be using this uh, sample to demonstrate this skirt so that we don't have to go around uh, using very long rows. But uh, what I want to point out is I just made sure that I had even rows, an even number of rows. So right now I have a total of 50 rows for my ribbing. And once you get your even number of rows that can stretch fully to your hip measurement, you're going to join this part to this part. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to be joining the back loop of the single crochet into the first stitch on this side with a slip stitch like that then back loop into the next chain with a slip stitch and continue to do that all the way across until you form a round panel for the waistband Make sure you don't skip any chain or any stitch. So right now I'm going into my very last stitch into the back loop and into the last chain on the opposite side and this is what we have we have joined and this is the wrong side of our work at this point and all you need to do is to turn it to the right side and this is the right side of our work so um, you are going to chain three we're going to start working in rounds all the way around the skirt. So after a chain of three, these are the high points of our skirt and these are the low points of our skirt. So there's the high point and then there's this hole. Every high point will get two double crochets and every hole here will get one double crochet. So the chain three at the beginning counts as a stitch so you have one double crochet, then two double crochets into the high point, one double crochet into the low point, then two double crochets into the high point, and then one double crochet into the low point. The low point is that small hole that's created in between the rows. And continue to do this all the way around. Two and one. two and one so I'm going to repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back at this point So we are coming to the end and you can see that there's only a high point left. So that high point is going to get two double crochets. And remember we started our row with the chain three which counted as a double crochet. So we are just going to go in into the top chain of the chain three and make a slip stitch. So we finished our round one. So we're going to round two and for this project we are not going to keep changing direction so you just chain three and we, will, we we are not going to turn our work 
we are just going to keep continuing to work in one direction. So after your chain three, this counts as a double crochet. So, so far we have one double crochet, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then two double crochets into the next. Then one double crochet into the next, one double crochet into the next, and then two double crochets into the next. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. One, one, and then two in the next. So repeat this. This is the repeat for row two. For round two, and then I'll meet you back at this point. So we are almost coming to the end, and I've placed two double crochets in this. So we have three stitches left. So I'll do one double crochet into one, one double crochet into the next, and into the last stitch, you should be having two double crochets. Because remember our row started with two, with uh, one double crochet and one double crochet, then two. That means in the very last stitch, you should be having two double crochets. And after this, you're going to place your slip stitch on top of the first chain three. So we're going to round three, and you can see your skirt has started making the ruffles. Round three, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. So, so far we have a total of three double crochets, and into the fourth, we are going to place two double crochets. So the pattern for round three is one, 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 then two. Then one, 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 then into the next, we place two double crochets. So one, 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 then into the next, we place two double crochets. And you're going to repeat this all the way around until we get to this point. Okay, so we're almost coming to the end of round three and we've placed two double crochets in this stitch. So we should be having a total of four stitches left. So in the next one, you're going to place one double crochet, one double crochet into the next, one double crochet into the next, and then into the last one, you should be having a total of two double crochets into that last stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain three, which is a double crochet. There you go. And now this marks the end of round three. And from round four, we are going to just chain three and place one double crochet all the way around. We are no longer increasing. So we chain three and go into the next stitch with one double crochet and continue to place one double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around. No more increases. So we are going to repeat round four of no increases until we get the length of the skirt. And in the next clip, I'll be introducing the actual skirt that I did, the one for the adult size because this was just a demonstration. And you can see where the folds are is where the, um, the ruffles are going to be formed. So as you go down, you'll notice that the skirt is just starting to go flat and no longer flaring out. And you're going to just repeat row four until you have the length of the skirt that you want. I'll let you know how many rows that I did for the actual skirt, the adult size in the next clip all right so i ended up doing a total of 25 rows right from the very first double crochet row this one all the way down to row 25 and right now i'm finishing up my 25th row i'm placing my very last double crochet and then slip stitch on top of the very first chain three that you made and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn 
this is one of those projects that I'm not going to have an aging for because I I just feel like it's it's just a basic skirt that just looks very nice well plain now the next thing that I'm going to do is to make a very long chain uh, to go around the ribbing of the waistband so you're going to get your yarn make a slip knot and you're going to, you're going to just make plain chains so you're going to make a very long chain that can go around your waistband and even beyond because uh, we want to have some some left over to hang at the front of our skirt so I'll let you know how many chains that I did for mine so I did a total of 250 chains and you'll chain one and cut and pull through so this is the chain that we are going to place into our waistband so i'm going to identify the exact middle spot at the front of my work so i want it to be this and i'm going to get my chain and i'm going to use a smaller hook you can see this is a 3.25 millimeter hook so it's the one that i'm going to be using to put this chain all around the waistband so i'm just going to go in and out but I'm going to be eliminating two stitches from the top. So I'm just going to be doing this. It's just a random placement. There's no formula to it. Just as long as you can get a neat final finish. Try your best to uh, have even spaces in between. So you can see this. The spaces are almost even. So I'm going to go all the way around until I make it back to the beginning of this waistband. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. You can pull on your waistband so that this doesn't close up so much. So this is adjustable as you can see. Can be as small as you want it or as wide as you want it. So um, the next thing that you're going to do, you can see I left a few rows in between. This is to just give room for this uh, drawstring to be tied up like that. And these strings are going to hang at the front of our skirt. And at this point, you can decide what you want to put on your uh, drawstrings. You can put beads, you can put tassels, you can put shells. It depends on the theme of your outfit. Um, if you would like to learn how to make tassels, I have a detailed video that I'll be leaving on the screen. But this is basically it. Those who would like to modify their skirt and add some floral details, I already have a detailed video of how to make this daisy flower. And then for the attaching, you can follow the same exact process of how we made the bikini top. And I'll be leaving both links on the screen so that you can go and check them out and try that. And I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye.